Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Call All Stars presents World Tour 2. My name is Philip Ontario from the AWF, and I'm back in the studio as I have been for previous Call All Stars special events. And folks, we got one hell of an event here tonight. We're going to see not one, but two Call All Stars championship matches. First, we're going to see the Call All Stars World Tag Team Championships being defended. Last time for the first World Tour, we saw Rush Hour defend their tag team titles and they were unsuccessful. They lost the titles. Tonight, Rush Hour looks to win those titles back as Rush Hour, AJ Young and Jay Crack challenge the future foundation for the Call All Stars Tag Team Championships. Also, in our main event, the Call All Stars World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The champion, Ben Hopkins, defends against the challenger, the winner of the Wheel of All-Stars, the fixer, Ryan Carroll. That all goes down tonight. A little bit later on, we're going to find out some news and information regarding Paul All-Stars. We're going to find out the first inductee into the 2020 Hall of Fame. Can't wait for that. We're going to find out some of the matches that will be taking place on that card. But we already know at this current time that one match is official for Call All-Stars 12. And that is an AWF World Championship matchup between the current champion, Travis Sparks, and the challenger, the former champion, Sean O'Connor. So let's take a look back the most recent edition of AWF Uprising episode 85 when this match was set up. And the road back begins now. Travis, I challenge you to a match at Call All Stars 12. Let's do it again. Call All Stars, I will remind you, is my turf. I have an amazing record at Call Stars. I do nothing but win, win, win no matter what. The odds are against you, Travis. So do it right now. Accept my match. Let's fucking do it at Call Stars 12. I accept your challenge at Call All Stars 12. Because you see, Sean, I've taken everything from you. I've taken your AWF championship. I've taken you being the face of Uprising because this is now my show. My face is going on the cover. I'm going to be on the signature intro of this show. I'm going to be on the magazines. I'm going to be on a Titan Tron. And where are you? You're down there. You're nothing. It has been my dream to have a big match I call All-Stars. I wasn't even at the event last year. And you're right. I did lose on call All-Stars 9. But you know what, Sean? There's one more thing I'm going to take away from you. And that is Call All-Stars 12, because you see, it is not going to be your night. It's not going to be the night that Sean O'Connor reclaims his, his AWF championship. No, and it's going to happen at the end. It's going to say the winner and still AWF champion, Travis Sparks. For the time being, it seems it's set. A Call All-Stars 9 rematch, Travis Sparks defends the AWF World Championship 
against Sean O'Connor. Now, we do not know for sure that Travis Sparks will still be the AWF World Champion by Call All-Stars 12. Sean O'Connor, regardless of that fact, will be challenging for the AWF Championship. So if Travis Sparks loses the championship over the course of the next few months, this matchup could change, but we will see an AWF Championship match at Call All-Stars 12. Speaking of championship matches, of course, all the Call All-Stars championships will be defended at Call All-Stars 12. We know the World Championship and the World Tag Team Championships will be defended. We obviously do not know who the champions will be going into that event. We could potentially find that out tonight if the winners of their matches here at World Tour 2 hold on to the titles going into Call All-Stars 12. One thing we do know is the Call All-Stars Women's Championship will be defended, and just like the other championships, we do not know for sure if Carmen Cortez will still be the Women's Champion walking in. But we know who will be challenging for that championship, and that is the winner of the Call All-Stars 11 Gauntlet for the Gold, Cody Hale. Cody Hale had some comments for Carmen Cortez. They, they broadcast it here on the Call All-Stars YouTube channel. For those who missed it, we're going to give you a, a chance to check that out right now. So let's hear from Cody Hale. What's up, people of Call? We are just about a month removed from an incredible All-Stars, and I'm already excited for next year's show. You know, it's funny how quickly things can change. Just a few months ago, I was on top of the world. I was a champion of one of the most successful shows of them all. I had everything, and I thought I had nothing left to prove. It only took one night for all of that to be taken away. In one night, I lost my title, I lost the most important match of my career, and worst of all, I lost my job due to Unite's indefinite hiatus. That was a difficult time for me, I won't lie to you. I felt lost, like I didn't have a home anymore. But when you love something enough, you fight for it, even if it means working two dead-end fast food jobs to support your broken dreams. One night, while I was finishing up my shift, I got a call from an old friend of mine, Ryan Paul Jones. He told me about this big event he and a bunch of other promoters have been hosting for the past 11 years, and he offered me a spot on their next show. Then, just as quickly as it happened the first time, everything changed again. I went from delivering pizzas to being the surprise entrant in the women's gauntlet for the gold at Call All-Stars 11, a match which I won to secure myself a title opportunity against Carmen Cortez. If this experience has taught me one thing, it's that I'm far from done. I have so much left to prove, and at Call All-Stars 12, I'm going to prove to myself and to everyone that I am one of the very best man or woman to ever step in between those ropes. Before I go, I want to thank everyone who stood by me. 2019 gave us a lot of amazing moments, as well as a fair share of heartbreak. But together, we're going to make 2020 our best year to date. And Carmen... Congratulations on becoming the new Call All-Stars Women's Champion. You earned it. No one can deny what you've accomplished. But your days are numbered now. And the future is looking very cyberpunk. Peace and love, everyone. See you at the Call All-Stars 12. Cody Hale set the challenge for the Call All-Stars Women's Championship at Call All-Stars 12. As it stands right now, Carmen Cortez is the current champion. She won the championship at Call All-Stars 11, and certainly she's been very vocal about wanting this match herself. Will she hold on to that championship? We'll have to see. Certainly that seems to be the match that a lot of people want to see. We'll find out over the course of the next few months if we will see that this August. Now the question is, what will the other women's wrestlers be doing this August at Call All-Stars 12, and folks, we have some breaking news, some history-making news to answer that very question. For the very first time in Call All-Stars history, 
at Call All Stars 12, there will be a women's rumble match. 20 women will step up and fight to be the first ever winner of the Call All Stars women's rumble match. And just like the men's rumble, the winner will receive a future world championship match either in their own promotion or they could choose to challenge for the Call All Stars Women's Championship sometime in the next 12 months after Call All Stars 12. Now, who's going to be in this Women's Rumble? Well, we won't know everyone for quite a while. It's going to take a few months to get everyone announced and official and confirmed. But we do know one woman, one demon, who wants her chance to be champion again. She's declaring that she's the first entrant in this match. So let's hear from the former Call All Stars Women's Champion, Elizabeth Frieza. a lot of news to kick off the night and we're not done we have more news to reveal to you throughout the broadcast but it's time to get our first scheduled match underway and it's for the call all-stars world tag team championships the future foundation defend their titles against aj young and j crack rush out let's send it to ringside <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to World Tour 2 here in Buffalo. Thank you, Philip Ontario, for bringing it out here to the arena. Sean Walsh here on commentary being joined by El Dorado Championship Wrestling's own Brian Cole. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Tour here for Call All-Stars. What an opening match we've got here for this. Rush Hour on their way out here. Um, Rush Hour, last World Tour here, then things uh, didn't go the way that they had expected, but hey, they got a chance for redemption, and that's why it counts here today. Absolutely. You alluded to last year's World Tour. They walked in here with the Call All-Stars World Tag Team titles, but they lost them, and they, they haven't been able to get a chance to, to win the titles back since then. One year later, almost, and now they have their chance to challenge for the titles again, possibly become two-time Call Stars Tag Team Champions. And look, the man right there who's holding the world AWF World Heavyweight Championship, certainly no stranger to being a two-time holder of a Call All Stars Championship. AJ Young, the only two-time Call All Stars World Champion. Absolutely. AJ looking to add to that, uh, that impressive resume here. 
And J-Crack as well. J-Crack, you know, uh, has a proclivity for the various championships himself. But hey, it's not going to be an easy task for them because the champions on their way out here, Future Foundation, are not looking to relinquish those belts anytime soon. Absolutely not. The Future Foundation winning the Call All-Stars World Tag Team Championships back at Call All-Stars 11, defeating the Misfits, the team that beat Rush Hour to win the titles. And they've held those titles ever since, even adding the CCL World Tag Team Championships back in December. And these, these guys are, have been on one hell of a run. These guys are a great tag team. They've had success for years and now holding both the Call Allsters and CCL Tag Team. Yeah, hey, we gotta go back to Call Allstars 11, where these two, they won the belts from the Misfits. You know, what a night. Absolutely, it, it was one hell of a match. It was one hell of a night for these guys. It, it was certainly uh, a classic tag team match, and you know, someone who, who's you know, been in, in several tag teams in the past certainly loved tag team wrestling. I, I love what Future Foundation brings to the table, and they have a big test here tonight going up against Rush Hour. Yeah, it makes you wonder, you know, Rush Hour sometimes they kind of come in. Seems like they come in very confident, very cocky, very laid back at times. You know, is it going to be all business here tonight? They got to pull something out. They got to have something in mind to regain those titles. Yeah, absolutely. A AJ Young, J Crack, certainly. They they they're very well accomplished. This is why they're they're so confident and cocky. AJ se several world championships in his resume. J Crack a select few championships as well, holding COH's internet championship, the Calls for 365 day championship. Those guys also both having several tag team championships on their resume as a tag team. The AWF, the ECF, Calls for tag team titles, and. Future Foundation, much the same. These guys have huge resumes in their own right as tag team champions. Matt Finks being a former CCL World Heavyweight Champion as well. Yeah, Matt Phoenix, they're a, uh, a very, very big name in the industry, you could say. Uh, a name that, that's synonymous to call all stars in his own regard, you know. And, and interesting here, you know, kind of makes you wonder too, coming in when you look at, you know, accolades and, and things of that nature. If you put both of these uh, teams you know, individually side by side, as we get a tag in there from Jay Crack, a little bit of mind games here already from Rush Hour. You know, uh, Rush Hour stands above Future Foundation on the CWI rankings here. That's right. Maybe that, uh, hopefully that's not gonna be, you know, to the, the champion's detriment here, that, you know, getting big leagued by the challengers coming into this and in the, in the fan votes. And they all look, they could prove it wrong here. Oh, I thought maybe they were going to get a quick victory. But yeah, that certainly has to be something that rests at the at the side of, of uh, the Future Foundation, being the Call of Tag Team Champions and not ranking as high. Trying, They have a lot to prove here tonight. Maybe they feel that a win over Rush Hour may show the fans that, hey, you look, there's a reason why we hold these titles. And, you know, I got to say, too, I mean, we... Obviously, anybody who who's followed the the CWI rankings over the over the years here, yeah, you know, Rush Hour, the the champions who walked in again into World Tour last time around, shutting them out here, um, putting them down towards the bottom of the rankings for those Call All Stars Tag Championships. This could be something here that we see that that opens the door for younger, hungrier teams that come in and challenge for those titles perhaps soon. Absolutely. Jay Kraken in the last few moments here has, has had control in the matchup, landing the Brain Buster. Yeah, Jay Kraken trying to turn things around here, going quick to a pin, a lateral press there, but uh, able to get the shoulder up the kick out of that one. Oh man, Jay up on the middle rope, drop kick sending Matt Phoenix down. I, I, I just have to go back, you know, this is all all call all stars related here. So we have a tag into AJ Young, Matt Phoenix, I and mean, we go all the way back to call all stars just a few years ago. That just absolute terrific match that he had with Chris Knight for the yeah. CCL championship. 
I mean, hey, this guy, this guy can go, and Rush Hour really needs to keep the pressure on him. We've seen, we've seen what Matt Phoenix can go through, and what he's able to withstand in a match. What, how much it took to put him down in that match. It is, it's one of the greatest matches in Call All Stars history. It was a hell of a performance, and now we have AJ who had Matt Phoenix pinned for a moment, but this match continuing. We got AJ Young, Matt Phoenix, two former CCL World Champions collide in here. Oh, maybe uh, hearkening back to that match a little bit there as he clipped the leg. Uh, that sliding chop block in AJ here, just uh, showing some of that nasty side here. The kick to the ribs, nothing pleasant about that, nothing technical or pretty about it. Look for AJ Young here, I, I got to believe that AJ has a lot to prove here tonight. Certainly AJ, he's done a lot in this industry. He's won many championships. He's a former Call of champion. But last Call of Duty, 11, he fell short against the great one, TGO. He wants to walk out of here with a victory. Well, you know, you, you call your shot against someone like TGO and you come up short, yeah. You're gonna have a lot, uh, a lot to walk into. A lot, a lot of critics coming off of a big loss like that on the biggest stage there is in the industry. Absolutely, J Crack uh, doing J Crack things there, letting Matt Phoenix know what he thinks of him. And so far, look at Rush Hour cutting the ring off here. It's almost as if the Future Foundation side of the ring is non-existent. We have only seen Matt Phoenix on their side of the ring. He's getting continually picked apart with moves like that. Look at that. Tommy Kazarian getting knocked off the ring apron. No chance to get a tag. AJ going after the leg again. But Rush Hour clearly has a strategy here. Yeah, and that's following that, that stomp to the back of the knee that we just saw from them in tandem. And oh my goodness. Oh. We yeah, will. clear clear the bullseye is on the legs. And look again with the dragon screw this time. We were wondering, you know, we, we've seen Rush Hour before. We know that these guys that like to play games, like to have fun. But these guys walking in tonight, they know that there's a big prize on the end of this one, and they came in with a huge strategy that could be the difference maker. We could see new champions crowned tonight because of that strategy. Able to follow through the leap frogs there, back elbow. AJ Young always making it look so easy here when he's in the rings. He goes for a cover. Kazarian in there to break that one up. See Rush Hour to Matt Phoenix. About that. Yeah, Matt Phoenix here still though. Uh, Tommy Kazarian has to know that his partner really needs a hand. And this has been, again, more Rush Hour offense just adding up here. Oh, into the arm that time. Back. Oh man, massive bicycle kick knocking Jay down and out. Matthew's got to take this opportunity to get a tag. Absolutely, here finally puts him into the, the champion's corner, and we're going to see something here from the top. Oh! Kazarian in the ring, legal this time. Nice assisted crossbody there. Matt Phoenix able to recover a two count off of that tandem work. You can see the damage uh, that Matt Phoenix went through. He's certainly feeling it on the ring apron there. Was in here for a long time. Finally able to tag out to his tag team partner, Tommy Kazarian, the fresher man in this matchup. And that landed in the Falcon Arrow. Oh man, taking a page out of J Crack's playbook there. <laughs> Uh, you, you know what they say about that. Nobody's kicked out of one of those before. Nice guillotine leg drop to follow it up. I, I think I would go for a cover here. He's got a safe bet on it, and he picks him up instead. Oh, man, the twist of fate. This could be it. We, we could see successful title defense here, but A.J. Young getting in the ring to break it up. Oh, and the, the world-famous Black Ref gets taken <laughs> down in the crossfire here. A.J. Young's back on the ring. Ring apron that is, oh! There's him in the forearm. Oh man, wait, AJ's not the legal man. Well, the fans reacting to this, but Jay's gonna make a cover on it. Referees is gonna count. Shoulders are down, there's a kick out again. AJ connecting with one of those uh, highlight real blockbusters that we've seen from him before. 
referee who was, uh, he was on the receiving end of a uh, Max Daniel strike was you know was collecting his thoughts and wasn't able to stop AJ from getting in the ring. Is, this, is Jay going to be able to? I thought he was going to be able to capitalize off of it, but Tommy Gazarian kicking out. Connected with his signature drive-by kick there, that step-up bicycle kick to the face, not enough. Still has him in their corner, and, and even with the fresh tag in here, even Kazarian finding himself not in a good place there on the opposite side of the ring. And that was an excellent move there, getting to your own corner. The tag team wrestling here, a very, very interesting uh, thing, an observation that not a lot of people may key up on. Similar to combat sports, when you when you're when you're fighting, you want to be near your cornermen. You want to hear what they have to say. Is that bicycle kick next again there from Matt Phoenix? But in a tag team match, if you're not in your corner, you don't have the advantage. You don't have the numbers on your side. And it, it, it's a similar thing you're seeing here. Jay Crack now feeling the effects of a cutoff there on the Future Foundation side of the ring. Matt Phoenix got something in mind here. No! His head went. Bone to bone, skin to skin contact there, nearly knocking out Jay Crack. A frog splash connects. Remember, folks, the Call All Stars World Tag Team titles are on the line in this match. The Future Foundation defending their titles against Rush Hour here. Well, Jay will fight out. Phoenix was taking a little too long to set something up there. Oh! Trapping him by the hair and kicks to the face. Style nice. kicks again here. Phoenix not staying down though. The counter with that jawbreaker and following up with the scoop slam. And Fat Phoenix heading up to the top rope. What has he got in mind? For oh no! Frog splash. Nobody home that time. J Crack able to see it coming. As previously, he was dazed by that headbutt when it connected, but not on this one. Oh, there's a tag. Wait, wait a sec. Wait a second. Oh no. Oh, yeah. oh there it is. Yeah, they, they, these guys. They, they call it the big dick energy kick, and it. And Tommy Gazarian, he's he's done his studying of the tape. He knows Rush Hour's won tag team matches with that before, and he broke it up. Rush there to the back of the head, getting him out of the ring. AJ making sure he's gone, but Phoenix stirring here from behind. AJ out. I wasn't sure if he oh. noticed. Oh, oh man! What a shot! That turning heel kick there. That, that's a knockout kick. Oh, is he sitting him up for it here? Oh, wait a second. Oh, man, he's in a world of trouble here. The sleeper hold is locked in, and AJ may have nowhere to go. A, a beautiful, I'm going to suplex him there. Falcon Arrow, maybe. Float over into that rear naked choke there. And oh, no! Oh. The pace really quickening here. The later this match goes, you can see the, the desperation of both of these teams are really looking to put this thing away. The ropes, there's a shining wizard. It's vintage AJ Young right there. Oh, and oh, su oh no, super kick, but he holds on. Straight jacket German suplex. What a combination there. Well, you say, say what you want about AJ Young and Jay Crack. And you know, I've had a history with both of them. But these guys are very talented. There's a reason why they're as successful as they are. They almost got were able to win the titles, but Matt Phoenix able to get his foot on the bottom rope. You see AJ there, quick to try to make that cover. See, uh, he went for that standing STO, but didn't pay attention to the ring presence, the IQ of Matt Phoenix to, to know that he didn't have to expend energy, he just had to get a foot to the ropes is all. AJ going to try to punish him there, connects to that high end Zagiri. Into Rush Hour's corner again. 
Yeah, I mean, honestly, this might be the best rush hour has looked that I've seen them. This is scary how precise and how methodical they've been in this match. Absolutely. You know, it, it, it was almost a year ago that these guys lost to call all stars tag team titles. You gotta believe that these guys have been preparing for this night, for the chance to win back the titles, and they've been preparing for and uh, like you said, these these guys have been impressive. They've been very impressive tonight. Yeah. Jake Crack here. Oh, connects to the Falcon Arrow of his own. He's about to make the comment that, you know, obviously we talk about the Matt Phoenix, talk about AJ Young here, but, but Jay Crack here out to prove that he's one of the best in the world as well. Yeah, you know, look, as, as great as AJ Young is, a lot of people maybe might not realize Jay Crack is a very skilled competitor as well. Can get the job done on his own. He could get it there, but not enough. And you notice, I, mean, I mentioned it with, with the kick, the trapped kicks earlier. AJ, or excuse me, uh, Jay Crack going going here, showing a lot more of the, this hard in striking in his offense, in his repertoire now. Very much has expanded his uh, his move set, his skill set here. And now this, this is this is a page right out of Rush Hour's playbook here. The referee can't do anything about these. These are clean, repeated tags here. They're not breaking any rules. Not breaking the five count on these stomps. They're very smart, and every one of these shots is wearing down Matt Phoenix. He is stomping a mud hole on him. Every few seconds, these guys tagging in and out. But like you said, it's perfectly legal. They're, they're tactically following the rules. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, just an exclamation point on that attack. Phoenix is in the I mean, world of trouble right now. How much more could he withstand right now? I Again, he's been in the ring so much for his team here tonight. Kazarian has got to figure out something to, to, to revive this for the champions. This has been almost one-sided. Oh, man. Oh, here it goes. The guaranteed ET. That could be it right there. Matt Phoenix still in this match, able to get the shoulder up, and he's got to find a way now to get a tag. He's got to tag his tag team partner. Look, AJ. AJ is not happy about that two count. Well, that's one of the best referees in, 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 the, in the business here. AJ Young getting it. What the it. hell? Oh, wait a second. Jay striking the referee. There goes Kazarian. You, you can't put your hands on an official like that. What is, what is AJ doing? Oh no, okay, Cole. I, I'm gonna have. I'll be right back. Wait, wait, wait. Sean getting up from the from the announce table here. AJ Young has got a has got a steel chair. Sean Walsh. Sean Walsh is coming down to the ring. Wait a second. Sean Walsh has his history with both of these men. He's putting himself in, in the line of fire here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Trying to disarm AJ Young with the, the, the steel chair made contact there with AJ Young. Well, AJ's not happy about this. The, the history between these two. Wait a second. Wait a second. The referee's back up. Two. And oh, and Matt Phoenix pins AJ Young for Future Foundation to retain the titles. The turn of events here. Wait, I gotta say, it looked like Rush Hour might have been thinking concerto here. Both men had exited the ring. Matt Phoenix, his, his career might have been on the line. Could have been very disastrous. Sean Walsh had to call an audible here. If he would have been here, this could have been very bad. But with AJ Young, I don't know. The, the fires may be rekindled here between, between Sean Walsh and AJ Young. Congratulations to the Future Foundation nonetheless. Well, there you have it. The Future Foundation are still the Call All-Stars World Tag Team Champions. And if they hold on to those titles going into Call All-Stars 12 this summer, they will defend those titles at Call All-Stars 12 in Tokyo. Now, Call All-Stars 
will feature many championship matches, but it also features some special showcase matches as well. An individual who has participated in key matches in the past few call stars has sent in a video with a challenge of his own for a potential match this summer in Tokyo at Call Stars 12. So let's play that video right now. So, the Call Stars special is coming up soon. And you know what? Considering the kind of guy I am, oh hi, I'm Malik Brown, by the way. I figured, Call Stars 12. A lot of big matches are going to happen. A lot of big moments. But really, I just want to face off against the best that the virtual wrestling world has to offer. So, this is what I'm here to say. John Blackos, you, me, call All Stars 12. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Every year, Call All Stars is always a remarkable weekend, but as we've seen in previous years, Call All Stars is more than just a weekend, it's a whole week of festivities, and one of those festivities is one that I look forward to now every year, and that is the Hall of Fame, where we see some of the legends of the call wrestling industry find their rightful place in the Hall of Fame. And that's no different this year. This year, the Hall of Fame is back and right here right now we're about to find out the first individual who will be going into the hall of fame this year so let's not waste any more time ladies and gentlemen the first inductee for the class of 2020 for the call all stars hall of fame is the former call all stars world heavyweight champion brandon wolf Brandon Wolf will be joining a whole list of legends in the Hall of Fame. Of course, a two-year long reign with the Call All-Stars Championship and a huge impact around the call world. Brandon Wolf is holding his retirement tour right now. He's looking to hang things up after Call All-Stars 12 this year where he will have his final match. That is confirmed. Brandon Wolf will have his final match matchup here in Call Wrestling at Call All-Stars 12. Now, his opponent has yet to be determined, but it's certainly going to be a jam-packed week for the Wolfman, who will be having his final match at Call All-Stars 12, but will also be inducted into the Hall of Fame class of 2020. Congratulations to the Wolfman, Brandon Wolf. It is very well deserved. But now, we're going to send things uh, backstage in the arena to the winner of the Call All-Stars 11 Royal Rumble match. The Elite One, El Dorado Championship Wrestling's NXT Champion, Matt Black. He has some statement to make about his uh, his upcoming plans. As he, he did win the Rumble, so he has the right to challenge for the Call All-Stars Championship in the near future. So let's send it to Matt Black. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Your Call All-Stars Royal Rumble winner is here and future Call All-Stars champion in the making. You see, I have already claimed that I am challenging for this title at Call All-Stars 12 in the main event. See, I earned my opportunity, and that is the operative word of tonight, earned. I outlasted 29 other men to earn this shot. I have scratched and clawed for the past couple years to earn this opportunity at Call All Stars 12. Because you see, everyone else thinks that they can just come and make claims that they earn a shot, that they get a shot. Kevin and Macrosy, those claims that you want to make are nothing but false. They're all false pretenses. 
You haven't earned anything. If you wanted to earn that opportunity, it actually would have beat me. Kevin, you would have entered the Royal Rumble and then won it. But you didn't earn anything. You didn't take that opportunity like I did. And cashed in in that moment. So go ahead, all you make your claims, because it doesn't matter. You're all nothing but just false icons. Kevin claims he's the greatest, world's greatest everything. Lies. And actually, I, I don't even know where to begin with him. Keeps on wanting to rant and rave about, boo-hoo, I didn't win the Royal Rumble, I got cheated out. You took your eye off the ball. And I picked it up and stayed focused and won. Because you see, the thing is, I am the elite one. And come call All-Stars 12 in that main event, which is my destiny, I will become. Call All-Stars champion. Earned, 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 earned. Obsidian one, do you really want to use that word earned? <laughs> Let's be quite clear then. The only reason why you're allowed to stand in the sacred square and make these claims is because we allow it. No, 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 Obsidian one, you didn't earn anything. The only reason why you're in that ring is because the hand of God gave you this opportunity. You see, we saw where the tracks of fate were going, and we decided to alter them. That's why we came down to the ring and did what we did. You see, it didn't matter if it was you or anyone else. If the fool was going to be in the end, then we were going to make sure that it wasn't going to happen. Earned. And false idols? How about instead of claiming that we're a false idol? You get on your knees and pray. Pray for your forgiveness in calling us a false idol. And, and praise us and thank us for the opportunity that you have. But you know what? We are a benevolent God and we will bestow you with two more gifts, Obsidian One. The first being, next time you decide to open your mouth, really consider what you're going to say. Because you never know who or what is listening. And our second piece of advice. Reconsider when you want to face the narcissist. Really, really reconsider when. Because a call all stars 12, that will be our night. You see, we had one chapter end at call all stars 11 when we cemented our rebirth in the blood of the heretic. But at 12, at 12 a new chapter begins. And it begins with us taking that title, whether it's from you, or the narcissist, or anyone else. CAS 12 is our night. And a new chapter begins with us taking that title, and sitting on our throne. But not just as a champion, of Call All Stars, no, but as a god of C A W. Certainly, there is a lot of debate in regards to who will be challenging for the Call All Stars Championship at Call All Stars 12. Another debate is who will be the Call All Stars Champion walking into that event. And we may potentially find out tonight, or at least have a, a better idea, as our main event in just a few short moments is set to begin, which it will be Ben Hopkins defending the Call All Stars Championship against Ryan Carroll. Of course, he won that by winning the Wheel of All Stars. But like I said, that's a few moments away. Before we get to that, we have a couple quick announcements. First, while we were while the cameras were off, we received a a text message from John Blackos, John Blackos who was challenged by Malik Brown earlier on tonight for a match at Call All-Stars 12, and he simply said, I accept 
bitch. So, I think it's self-explanatory. John Blackos has accepted the challenge and will face Malik Brown at Call All-Stars 12. Earlier on tonight, we found out that Elizabeth Preza will be entering the Call All-Stars Women's Rumble match. And of course, we will find out the uh, the other competitors in that match as the months uh, continue. But we know five of the individuals who will be in the Men's Royal Rumble match this year. Those five individuals include Tyler Watson, Lewis Rivers, VPOC, a man who was in the Rumble last year looking for better luck this year, Connor Green, and the fifth is an individual who, to many, is a newcomer. He will be making his Call All-Stars debut this August, a part of the Call All-Stars Rumble match, that being TJ Nicholson. And for those unfamiliar, we have a little video letting everyone know who TJ Nicholson is. You know, there's a saying in the West. Only the good die young. Well, I'm glad I ain't one of them. folks that's all the announcements we have for you tonight of course there will be uh, special events in the future for more announcements regarding call all stars 12 so pay attention to our social media accounts on facebook twitter discord for all the information regarding call all stars 12 right now it's main event time so let's send it back to commentary with sean walsh and brian cole as they call the Call All Stars Championship match between Ben Hopkins and Ryan Carroll. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time here at World Tour 2. John Walsh and Brian Cole back on commentary here as we prepare for the Call All Stars Championship main event. So we, now we await the, the challenger for this match. tonight this is going to be who would have thought that this man would be challenging here tonight for the call all-stars championship certainly not me i did not think so uh certainly the the history between me and this man it's it's no secret but he he was eligible he was on the wheel of all-stars and and he won so he's got the chance tonight and while uh ryan carroll's walking down the aisle I just want to take a, a moment here and recognize what happened earlier in the show and I apologize but I, I, I had this I felt like I had to step in I didn't want to see call all stars championship change hands in that way so I stepped in and you know maybe that's a decision I'll, I'll grow to regret but I, I feel that was a decision to make but that's then right now is the main event Ryan Carroll set the challenge for Ben Hopkins for the call all stars championship so we're, we're gonna focus on that yeah, I, I'll make one comment and then we'll we'll get back to the business at hand here. You know, I as as you had stepped away and, and taken matters into your own hands there, Sean. You know, um, it wasn't just a matter of the titles changing hands there. What what the ramifications? What we could have saw happen? It could have been the end of Matt Phoenix's career, and 
and that's not something that anybody wants to see here. I, I just, you know, rush hour sometimes, regardless of what their intentions are, that was a new low for them. And, and I, you know, unfortunately, whatever the, the, the impact of that might be, you know, re, re, re cutting up with some bad blood there, re shedding bad blood, whatever, you know, it is what it is. But, but something had to be done, and and I, I think you made the right call. So I'll stand with you on that one. And with that said, the call All Stars champion, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Hopkins, about to make his way down to the ring here. Absolutely, we await the arrival of the champion, the man that won the Call All Stars championship back at Call All Stars 11, defeating the legendary Brandon Wolf. Big, big title defense here tonight. You want, you want to talk about a big test. It doesn't get much bigger than this. No, definitely not. And I mean, you talk about a big title defense. This might be one of his biggest ones here today. You know, I, a lot of people, you know, would, because it's mainly off of uh, their opinion, I would say. You know, but uh, he's underrated. Ryan Carroll, like him or not, this guy is underrated. He's very dangerous. Yeah, I, I can uh, I can vouch for that one. It's certainly, the battles we've been through, he's a very dangerous individual. Uh, I may not like Ryan Carroll personally, but that's that's irrelevant in in what he can do. And for that, and I and I gotta believe, being that Ben is the Call Search champion, he's well aware of that. He knows the the risks and the the chances of what could happen here tonight. And it it, it could go either way tonight, folks. It really could. Yeah, Ben has got to be on his A game, obviously, not looking to let go of that title here at World Tour, but, uh, I mean, anything can happen, and um, if anybody's knowing this stoop to low is to, to, you know, to get their way, Ryan Carroll is one of the masters of playing that game. Absolutely. As we see, the Call All Stars Championship set to be defended. One thing we should note here, you know, since Ben won the championship, obviously defeating Brandon Wolf, he's defended the championship against Aether Adamus. He's defended against TGO. N none of those men have the size difference over the champion like Ryan Carroll has here today. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Here, yeah. Again, I mean. Do not, Blake, do not underestimate Ryan Carroll here with another opportunity. Ryan Carroll has challenged Brandon Wolf for that championship. Yeah, he almost won. Ben you know, I mean, showing the confidence there. He, that, that's just who Ben is. I, I, I believe if you asked him straight up, Ryan Carroll would probably consider himself a, uh, a public enemy to call All-Stars, but it doesn't change the fact that he would love to hold that championship as his own, just to rub it in these fans' face more than anything else, and probably, you know, probably as a shot to you too, Sean. Probably. You're probably right. Uh, I, I, I know he he, he, said, uh, he said as much uh, when he was challenging Brandon Wolf, but now he has the opportunity again to win the championship, so best of luck. Look at this. The clear size difference. We see, we've seen Ben in there against uh, a variety of opponents, different sizes. Oh my! Oh no, not where the champion wants to be. This match has just started, and Ben Hopkins has been knocked down to the ground by Ryan Carroll. And not, not only knocked down, I mean, look how long it took him to get back up there just with a series of shots. Carroll, a, a very dominant, imposing striker as well in the ring here. Oh! As he's going for the victory already. And Hopkins, you know, one thing about him is he's on the vicious end of a lariat there. Ben Hopkins, he, he's been through some tough fights before. It's going to take a lot to keep him down. Yeah, and, and unfortunately here tonight, folks, this is not the Royal Rumble from Call Stars 11. There's no Scott McShannon here to save the day, even if... Uh, Hopkins is able to to overcome Carroll, knock him over the ropes. This match isn't going to end so quickly. And Hopkins is going to have to use his wits here to get back into this one, use some speed perhaps, some cunning. It's just not looking good right now. Oh 
man. Look at these mounted punches, and now on the some elbow strikes. You know, those hammer fists, too, as well. You know, Ryan Carroll, again, not a lot of people may know, a trained mixed martial artist here, using all of his skills and weapons here to his advantage. He's just, oh, just using the knee now. Another another one count, Ben kicking out. Ryan, Ryan Carroll has had control since, since the bell rung. Referee looking in here very closely, uh, some concern for the the champion here. I mean, you know, this thing could end almost in a TKO if he can't defend himself. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mentioned before, you know, Ben Hopkins is going to take a lot to keep him down. As he, he's not a man who's going to quit. But the referee, he might have to make that decision for him. Hey, he's trying to get his hands up here. In this position... Carroll just again raining down these punches and elbows and, and these hammer fist strikes again. Right back to another pin attempt here. And Ryan, Ryan Carroll, he, he's made multiple pinfall attempts here almost to say, hey, look, if you want to quit now, I'm giving you the chance to quit. But Ben Hopkins refusing to quit. I wonder here if this is maybe going to frustrate Carroll a little bit there as he takes him back down again. Not really expending too much energy here, just some, some very uh, rudimentary technique. Oh, and, and as soon as I say that, now things are getting a little unorthodox here as they go to the outside of the ring. face of Ben Hopkins. These guys are on the outside of the ring. The referee has begun his count. And Ryan Carroll's got to be very mindful of that. He can't win the Call of Championship by a count out. Definitely not here. He's, he's bringing him back into the ring. Ryan Carroll, again, very intelligent, very cerebral here. He's, he, he's really, at this point, he slowed the match down. He's starting to take his time with Ben Hopkins, not getting ahead of himself. Oh, oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no. Oh! He got him. We got a new champion. No. Ben Hopkins my on the receiver. Like, it was just nasty. The way Ben Hopkins' body folded up there, I, I, I thought we might have saw a new champion. Ben's not backing down. Oh my. Oh no. I was going to say that it almost looked effortless the way that he hoisted him up there. It's kind of flat, floating him through the air. Look at this. Oh, my God. It's a very, very strong individual. Oh. Waiting for the call, sir. Champion, get all that. Not even gonna wait. Just gonna pick him up. Oh man! Oh no, no, not this, not this way. Oh, folks, I, I think the dark days are here. I think we're gonna crown a new call, sir. Champion. Oh no, Ben Hopkins getting his shoulder up. Man, uh, for folks, I, I, you can't see it. I got my, ha I had my hand over my mouth for a moment. I was stunned there. Ryan Carroll has put a lot of people away with that move. I've been on the receiving end of that move, but Ben Hopkins finding a way to kick out. Carroll has he has ended careers with that move uh, of lesser talents. And yeah. Oh, oh. And look, the fixer has got to be frustrated now. Oh, look, he's on the top rope. What the hell? Oh, my. Oh, Carol trying to take a high risk there, not paying off. That's exactly what the call search champion needed. He needed Ryan Carroll to make a mistake, and now he's capitalizing. Very quick on the kick out there. The DDT was effective, but not enough to put him away. Oh, wait a second. Oh! What a counter there. Excellent there by Ben Hopkins. Now Carroll on the outside. And here comes Ben Hopkins. Hitting him with his favorite pose all the way on the other side over the ropes. 
This is exactly what Ben needed. Now he's fired up. He's got that energy that he needs. This is what's got him through all these matches. Look at that. Nice uh, sent on there. And now into the cover. Wasn't enough to keep Ryan Carroll down. But Ben Hopkins, he's got to be careful. He's got to be quick. He's got to use his speed to his advantage here. He can't let Carroll find an edge. Another one of those spinning DDTs can knock here. Carroll definitely uh, filling the effects. Slowly getting back up from that one. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. okay. This is innovative. This, this is going to definitely do some damage. Oh! oh man. <laughs> I mean, that's, I don't know how much damage that's going to do, but it's going to, I mean, it's just add an insult to injury. Well, it's definitely, definitely going to do some damage, but uh, not physically, more to the ego there than anything. Yeah, anyone who's uh, who's talked to Ben Hopkins at all, he, he's made it clear before this match was even set, he is not a Ryan Carroll fan. Yeah, ben Hopkins acted like he would have liked to take a rain check on this defense when he found out who his opponent was. It was well documented uh, the, the reaction of the champion there on on Twitter. It, he summed it up in three letters. Oh man, the, the, the Ryan Carroll's favorite three letters. That's some H. Oh! <laughs> and there's some sweet Ben music. Might be the tune he needs to get the victory, but he's all oh, he's got the scent of madness in mind. Oh, he gets all of it, holding on for the pin. Two. No. Oh, that was damn oh, close. <laughs> Carol getting right back up. Mongolian chop here. Ben trying to stay on top of him. How many men have you seen get back up from the Descent of Madness so quickly like that? I, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone get up that that quickly. And after, especially after being on a receiving end of Sweet Ben music and the Descent of Madness... Oh Jesus! Oh. That shot just not, it knocked Ben to his knees, and now look oh, no. at this! Oh my goodness! Throwing him into the air, catching him, just playing ragdoll with him here as he suplexed him. These guys delivering their best here tonight. We've seen Ryan Carroll de deliver that orange crush. We've seen Ben hit the descent to madness. Not enough to keep either one of these guys down. This is why it's a call All-Stars Championship match, folks. You know, a lot of people have their opinions about both these guys, but they're very good at what they do. Oh man, Ben's in trouble. Ryan Carroll has found a way to get back in control of this match. And look at this. Clubbing strikes to the head. He's going back to this offense again and again here. We're, we're reaching a point kind of like what we saw early on in the match where, you know, Ben, he, he's in a tough spot here. The referee might need to step in. Ben trying to get up to his feet and look at that champions bleeding oh my god elbow strike full arm elbow strike to the head but Ben Hopkins not staying down hey, Carroll here like, like a predator yeah he sends the blood in the water just zeroing in on these strikes now oh oh, oh my that was it's knocking him clear off of his feet. Trying to roll out here to recover. Can't even let, get his bearings falling on his face on the outside of the ring. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh. Oh, another shot. Oh, back to back shots into that barricade. Throwing Ben back into the ring. You gotta wonder what the fixer has in mind here. Could we be seeing the start? of potential
potentially a new champion crowned here tonight. Oh, looking forward again. Wait a second. Oh, wait, Ben. Ben able to get coming. out of there. Yeah, you talk about the resilience of the champion here. This is what it takes. This is what it takes to be on top of the world is call stars champion. Oh, throwing him out. Got him off his guard here, diving through the turnbuckle for a DDT. It's exactly what Ben Hopkins needed. If he would have been on the receiving end of that orange crush again, it, we, I think we definitely would have seen a new champion. But Ben able to hit that excellent tornado DDT, now back in the ring. Ben, yeah, I was going to say he should go for the cover, he's doing just that. Not enough, not enough to keep Ryan Carroll down. Carol moving slower here, but not enough, he said. Oh! Scoring couple kick there. Carol retreating a little bit here to the outside. Using the ropes to pull himself up on the ring apron. It's a bad spot to be, though. Oh, uh, that's a very bad spot to be. Ben Hopkins going to take full advantage of the surroundings and just plants him on the apron. It's exactly what he needed. Th things are turning around here. Look at Ben throwing Carol right into the ring apron. He's going to take control of this match. This is his title defense. He's got to show everybody here tonight why he's the champion. Uh -oh. oh, wait a second. Wait, he's going for it. Oh! Does that mass appeal move of friendship? But it wasn't enough. Now look at Ben dragging the body of Ryan Carroll to the center of the ring. Ben Hopkins has, has used a lot of his biggest moves here. Some of them back to back. Not enough. You can make the same argument about Ryan Carroll, but it seems like it's been more Ben Hopkins who's still struggling. Oh, look at this. Hitting in one of his favorite poses there while Ryan Carroll's laid out. Wait a minute. Right, this is tremendous. Oh. Cole, I think he I think I think he's got it. Might have it here. Wait, oh! He couldn't clasp the hands for the pin. It took a moment there, a little bit longer to connect with the, the pin attempt. There's a little springboard oh. sent on there by the champion. Might call that the uh, the, the springboard bent on there, oh. if you will. Uh, kips up off of a standing elbow to follow it up. Now think about this, you know, Ben Hopkins, he, he's landed not one, but two Descent of Madness in this match. And he's, and he's and the bell hasn't rung. This match is continuing on. He still has got to fight to hold on to his championship. Absolutely here. In the corner, Ben trying to get Carroll up onto that top rope. Setting him up to the top for something high risk here. Shoving Carroll out to the floor. Doing his little uh, Ben Hopkins shuffle. What does Ben have in mind here? As Ryan Carroll's on the outside of the ring trying to get up to his feet. The referee counting them out here. Spring forward. Oh, oh no. Oh man, high risk. Didn't pay off. Went for the springboard drop kick, and he got nothing. And look at that! Ryan Carroll lands a drop kick. Yeah, Ryan Carroll um, pulling out some moves that I, I, none of us knew that he had in the playbook here. Seen him go to the top rope tonight, connect with a, a nice standing drop kick there. Good form on that drop kick, and I get the size advantage is going to come in, come to play. Oh my! Speaking of the size advantage, flattening Ben Hopkins there against the ring apron. Wonder what Carroll has in mind here. 
The best move would probably be to get Ben back in the ring and try and finish this. Oh no, wait a second. Oh, oh my god! I've seen that once before. Similarly, oh my, and, and that, that's gotta be enough. Yeah, I, he might have broken the back of the champion who in a, if just a second here might be the former champion. Is Ryan Carroll? No! Somehow, some way, Ben Hopkins, as you saw, barely just rolling the shoulder up. Just a, a small attempt at a kick out, but just able to get it off the ground for the referee to indicate that it, the pinfall is over. This match is continuing. Yeah, yeah, you gotta think here. Evening the playing field, an understatement. That was a game changer. I don't know how Ben Hopkins is on his feet right now. He's just going off of what he knows, and what he knows is that he doesn't want to quit. He wants to keep on fighting. That's what Ben Hopkins does. And maybe, maybe it, it, it'll work in the end, but I don't know. It might be a dumb decision on the champion's part. You know, you, when you're in matches like this and you keep fighting, you keep fighting, sometimes you have to think, is this match worth putting my career potentially on the line? Yeah, Ben Hopkins clearly in survival mode here. And, oh! Oh, super plex there. Ryan Carroll might have it right there. Ben Hopkins able to kick out. How much more does the champion have left in the tank, though? I mean, it doesn't look like much at this point. He's, he's very slowly trying to get back to his feet. You know, his look, Ryan Carroll, he's not in any rush. He doesn't mind that this, this pace, this match has slowed down. He likes it that way. Yeah, Ryan Carroll, very sadistic here, and this is playing right into his strengths. Ben. Ben's trying to fight back here. He's able to get Carroll to a knee for a second. The ropes, they're saving him. There's those chops connecting again. Wait, oh! Getting resourceful here, using, using the ropes to an advantage! Oh! Excellent opportunity here for Ben Hopkins. Can he capitalize? Now head into the top rope. Nice flying elbow drop there. Hooking in the leg, but only a two it looks like. Ben's just gotta keep going here. He's gotta he's gotta go follow up with something big. I said the madness maybe. He's hooking him for it again. Wait! Carol holding on, grabbing him by the back of the head there! Oh! Wait, what's he setting up here for? Wait, the, the pedigree! Oh. That, that's old school Ryan Carroll right there. But no! Oh man, that was close. That was very close. Man, some flashbacks there to the, the old days. Ryan Carroll dishing out the pedigree tonight, but not enough. Oh, maybe he was thinking to sit the madness, I. Eh? Gas oh no, curb stop! Oh, like, oh, this is, wait, this is, oh, wait a second! Sweet Ben music! Caught him off the rope, rebound, and Ben Hopkins falls into the cover for a three count. I can't believe it, I mean, you know, I, I was wondering what is it gonna take, and it seems Ben Hopkins, maybe, maybe by luck, was able to land that super kick. That super kick he needed, and he fell on Ryan Carroll's body. He was fell in the right position, and the referee's raising his arm in victory. Ben Hopkins survives another day. Still, call all sir champion. Oh, he had to muster up everything. I mean, some some of the uh, the Ben Hopkins critics might call that one a a, a win by chance here, but yeah, you know what? Whether the, whether the pinfall happened by chance or not, the sweet Ben music was on point. 
and it was enough to put Ryan Carroll's lights out, and that's what counts here. Absolutely. Congratulations to Ben Hopkins on successfully retaining the Call All-Stars Championship here at World Tour. It's been one hell of a night. Certainly, uh, the champions retain it's all... What, what, what are these guys doing out here? Rush hour uh, apparently not done with uh, things here tonight. Oh, come on. Don't yell at the referee, guys. They don't need to be out. Oh my God! Oh! No! How many what times? Are gonna, about? How many times are you gonna put your hands on an official? Now Jay's got a microphone. What? What is this? <laughs> wow! I have never seen a bigger screw job. I have never seen <laughs> complete and utter disrespect on this magnitude. After everything we've done for a call, after we reinvented the tag team division of call, not the AWF, not call All stars, not COH, not, not ECF, not any other federation, call in general, we reinvented the tag team division of call and we made it this is special and great and this is what we get this this is what we get the lack of respect getting screwed over by sean walsh like always it's always sean does this to make sure rush hour doesn't get what they deserve sean get your ass here Rob. get Get your ass out here right now and face us. Get your white ass out here right now and fix things. Before I break your fucking neck. I'm gonna go handle this. Well, I, don't, I don't know if this is a good idea here. Jay Crack making a very bold claim that Sean Walsh is headed back down to the ring though. And he said he's gonna handle this, but I mean, this is at least a two on one. In Disadvantage here. Please be careful, Sean. I don't. I do not like the way that this looks right now. This man face to face here, exchanging words. And oh no! Oh, exactly what I was expecting. Oh my God! And now AJ Young taking a shot at him. Okay, this is this is this is going too far here now. This is going way too far. I'm not comfortable with this. Referee, we need to call for some help for these two men. Obviously, they've laid hands on the official twice here tonight, deliberately. Sean Walsh bleeding from those punches from AJ Young. Oh no, Jay Crack got him up. Oh no, 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 not this. What more is there left that they can do at this point? Sean Walsh, he, he's in a bad way here. AJ Young grabbing a steel chair. Grabbing, oh my God. Oh. Ryan Carroll's back in the ring. Oh no. See, we've seen the, what these two have done. Oh, wait a second. Ryan Carroll, wait a second! Carroll, who would help Sean Wall, help AJ Young defeat Sean Walsh in, in Call of Honor in the past? Wow, folks! Wow, wow! Wait a this, this, this has got to be. Is this, is this the reunion of the egotistical bastards? What, what is this? We're the greatest tag teams we've seen in the call industry. Ryan Carroll with a uh, possible change of heart here, but, but leaving. Folks, oh, this is going to leave us with a lot more questions than answers, but this is all we have time for here tonight at Call All-Stars World Tour 2. Thank you for tuning in. We'll find out more on this as it develops for you.